Yo, grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab your water, grab your Red Bull, grab anything. Well, like, drink. Why did I have to start the video like that? Today we've got some juicy information. So, a bunch of my subscribers have been sending me this video and I only got around to now looking at it and actually, I can't believe I haven't seen this before, like properly watching this because, whoo, this is juicy. So we're gonna be reacting to a video by The Hollywood Fix. Now, The Hollywood Fix have been everywhere recently. They've been knowing the locations of every YouTuber, every influencer, interviewing them, and they're kind of becoming like a meme within the YouTube community. They are literally everywhere. The video I'm reacting to is theirs, but I'm going to be using it under fair use, reacting to it, entertainment purposes only. So their video will be linked at the top of the description below, don't you worry. Go watch it, go support it, but it is them catching up with Blair White, and she discusses Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Nikita Dra- Everyone, and it is- Mm. Lord. Y'all know Blair White will always come through with the tea. I have the video now, we're gonna watch it, and there's a lot to comment on. I watched this once before, I gathered my thoughts, and now we can watch it together, and I'll share the juicy shit. Hey, what's up, Blair? How's it going? Good, how are you? Hey, how you? Okay. Good to see you before. I guess you have. Good to see you. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay, what's up? Who is this? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> I'm not gonna bother you forever. I'm gonna try to get straight to the point. I follow you on YouTube, and I saw oh, God, right in there. about Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey Star, Shane Dawson. Oh, my God, look at her reaction hey, after yeah. they mentioned Jeffrey. <laughs> oh girl, oh no, she's so uncomfortable about it. Like, I made my opinions on her video very clear in a few videos I've done, but it must be really awkward for her whenever this is brought up in public. Now, everyone has their own theories on the Hollywood fix and whether these YouTubers call them before and get it sorted or whatever, so I don't know if Blair has done that, but this also is probably just a really popular location in LA, and so also people tip people off and when they know YouTubers are somewhere, so that could be it as well. You know, I, it's kind of long, it's like 19 minutes long, but... 19 minutes long? They're telling Blair your video was really long, it was 19 minutes long. Jesus, most of my videos exceed that. Oh no, what am I doing wrong? But I was, like so, well, no, it, I was so intrigued by it that I literally watched it and I was like... I was so intrigued by it that I watched it. Are we supposed to like, well done for watching it? That's funny, because I know a lot of people in the trans community, and they all keep telling me these terrible things about Jeffrey. Really? I, well, I have a friend that told me that, like, she was bullied by him. I can't say her name. And so everyone in the comment section is associating him saying, I have a friend who's transgender, who said that they had, you know, these bad experiences with him. Everyone knows that he also interviews Nikita Dragon, so, of course, not making assumptions here, but that is someone a high-profile transgender woman. Also in the YouTube space, who he interviews a lot, so people are kind of making that parallel. We know that Nikita and Jeffrey have had their drama as well. So we don't know if that is Nikita, but a lot of people in the comment section are speculating that, so do what you will with that information. So he just said a really, ugh, claim there. He said that that YouTuber, Jeffrey Star, made them want to do something to their lives. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean, but that's awful. This man is, Horrible. Well, Look, Blair's uncomfortable. Okay, let's speak. Let's <laughs> if you don't mind. Let's speak in terms of like not getting student type language. Right. Yeah, let's so this is how people have to talk when they're talking about Jeffrey and they're in that circle. They have to say, hmm, how can I not get sued? Jeffrey, that should really be like a sign that you're not the best person. To say it nicely. Oh, and, and be careful what you I should have brought like, the wine out. Yeah. She should have brought the wine out. No, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, you Explain know, yourself a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was just more so we had a really uncomfortable, uncomfortable for me, FaceTime exchange. Okay. So she talked about this in her video. Different YouTubers that were out here, literally people, like, literally named names and... Also, why is Jeffrey doing that? Like... In his video, he made himself seem like the victim, but here Blair is saying as well that in that FaceTime call, he really was saying all well, the names of all these people who've been... <sighs> um, like I said in the video, okay. had a really bizarre voice memo accusing Jake Charles. It was just a lot. So now the voice memo, you know, the fucking infamous voice memo that everyone is talking about, but I, oh, I get really uncomfortable whenever I'm talking about this subject. It what did you accuse Jake Charles? Right. Well, Jeffrey's been on record saying that James Charles did, um, someone eventually. Oh. Oh, and on the FaceTime call, he, um, 
her to provide that voice memo to me as well. Why though? This was their first ever face and call, first ever interaction. Blair Liddy said that they were not friends. This was a little FaceTime call that they had, and Jeffrey was doing this on their first encounter. What do you think he shared with his longtime friends? But then again, he doesn't really have any longtime friends because they normally get through a night before them, but what do you think he's shared with his assistant and stuff? At first time interacting with Blair, he's like, do you want to hear this? Nah, it's not, mm, mm Okay. So I did listen to that. And did it seem legit it, it was... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely was, and it was another YouTuber who... Okay. And it was interesting because I talked about it, and then a few days later, Tati West posted a video confirming she heard Tati's it as well. Okay. And what I learned was that a lot of people behind the scenes have heard it. A lot of, a lot of people behind the scenes have heard it. I cannot convey my feeling whenever I hear that sentence that he has shared this voice memo or alleged voice memo with so many YouTubers and influencers and people. It's just, it's so disgusting. It's so disgusting. A lot of other YouTubers and influencers, whatever. So it's kind of like a commonly known thing, which is really, um, it's not good. A commonly known thing. This alleged voice memo is a commonly known thing and commonly heard thing. Sad. An open secret <laughs> that just kind of Pretty keeps happening. Much. But I don't understand. This interviewer is laughing. He's saying, oh, it's so like an open secret. You don't joke about that kind of stuff. No. You, you can't make jokes and you can't laugh and you can say, oh, he's uncomfortable, but you can't. No. You have to be so delicate and so careful. Pretty much, um, and, and, and it's sad because I think, I mean, we're in Hollywood and like Hollywood, I think there's a lot of really rich and powerful people that get too rich and too powerful and, and they like... Who is this? Who is this? I don't know who that is. Cool. And I think it's the same for YouTube, to be honest. And, I mean, listen, yeah. Jeffrey has been on a video saying some pretty racist, uh, I don't know. Some, that's true too. So, so really vile. She went, that's true too. Oh, that's true too. I mean, I, I want to be clear that I'm not accusing Jeffrey of like, yeah. it's, all you're that. Okay. it's more so that he holds information about other people committing those things against them as, I'm not going to say black and I guess that's a legal term as well, dirt on people. Okay. okay, keep in mind here that she says blackmail. Oh, that's a legal term. I won't say that. But later on in the video, she mentions blackmail as like another key word again. So make sure to listen out for that. I will remind you. But she's being very careful with what she's saying here, which kind of leads me to believe that maybe stuff has happened behind the scenes with Jeffrey to maybe her a legal team after her video. I'm not saying anything has. Like, this is just my own opinion and my perception of what I think could have happened with the way that she's treating this, or else she's just like being very careful. Hurt on them and need be, maybe. Yeah, sort of yeah, and, and it's weird. He just did a video um, a few days ago saying, like, this is doing what's right video. He doesn't blackmail people, and he literally told me he does. So, <laughs> so there. That kind of contradicts what she said before, that she wasn't going to mention, like, blackmail as, like, a keyword, but... <laughs> and he literally been on record saying he does, so. <laughs> He has been on record, baby. Right? What do you think about Shane Dawson? Okay, now is when it gets... Oof, 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 oof. First time I heard this, my jaw literally dropped, so now they're talking about Shane Dawson, and just listen. Look, look! What do you think about Shane Dawson? This is someone who was Shane Dawson's friend. Now she gets to that, do not worry. But this is someone who was Shane Dawson's friend. Look at his face too. Look. Uh, oh my god, I did the same one. <laughs> oh my god, they just look at each other. <laughs> wine, we need the wine. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because you know, a lot of I, people, yeah. you know, tried to cancel Shane lately and come for him. Um, what are your feelings about Shane and his connection with Jeffrey Star? Imagine how awkward it is to get asked about this stuff in like the middle of the street. Uh, I, I guess I'll say was. Was. Friends with Shane for a few years. I was friends with Shane. Now she gets to it more, but now Blair White has literally said that she was friends with Shane Dawson. She is not friends with him anymore. Her words. Whoa. Her video must have really got to him. I don't know. Possibly. Like, what other way would they end the friendship? Did she? Let's get to it. Oh, no, no, it's just like the, all the stuff coming out. I do a channel where I talk about um, a lot, and a lot. 
Shane gets it, obviously. Oh, and sure. so everyone on came out about Shane. I have to do a video about it. Okay. And a lot of people disliked that video. A lot of people liked it. It was whatever. Um, I just wish the best for Shane, honestly. I, I don't really know the truth about children. You maybe, like, contact him and try to... So, now she's basically saying that, like, She's no longer in contact with Shane. Like, I just wish him the best, which is such a wishy-washy like Hollywood. Like, I wish you the best, but we're not friends. It's literally like when celebrity couples break up and they're like, I just wish the best for you. And then for the next, like, four years, Liddy talk shit about them for behind backs and stuff. So, thanks. Tea. A conversation with him to see, like, I don't think that's on the table. So he said maybe you can have a conversation with Shane, and Blair is now saying, I don't think that's on the table, which shows that they're both not in a good place together. After my video, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not... So that's not on the table after she did her video. Oh! I'm friends with Jeffrey or Shane anymore. Je I'm never friends with Jeffrey. Never. I thought one interaction, which was okay. way too much for me, and then with Shane, I don't really know. It do so, yeah. Shane, she doesn't know, but Jeffrey was never friends. So Jeffrey shared all that stuff with her, knowing that he was not her friend. <sighs> that's a dangerous person. And then just the fact that she's literally saying that she's no longer friends with Shane is like, oh, after her video. Because I know, like I said, a lot of people in the community that have a lot to say about Jeffrey that's not all pleasant. I, I didn't know the trans thing, that's crazy. Well, yeah, I've never met him, so, or, you know, met him, and I've never met her, and uh, so, so, you know, I don't want to personally judge, but I mean, I'm just saying, I feel like was... people are saying they, there's a lot going on, they want well, to kind of joke. expose the trans community. Yes, the trans community. And they want to expose some stuff about him, and I'm just like, well, I don't know if this is. So he's talking about that other people now want to expose stuff about Jeffree Star. Now with his connections, this guy, Hollywood Fix, meets every YouTuber and influencer. So he would like have insider stuff, in my opinion anyway. I mean, he kind of has to. Because he has all these YouTubers' phone numbers and they have his. So maybe we don't know. Maybe the exposing Jeffree isn't over yet. Oh, it's so messy. Crazy. Maybe I'm not as connected with the trans community as I thought because I don't really know anything about that. I really don't. I, really? Okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't have any reason to believe he has any ill feelings for trans people. It was just more so like a fucking blackmail thing. Okay. So again, she said blackmail. And she said she wasn't going to. Well, yeah. this blackmail's not cool. I don't. I, that's not cool if he's yeah. doing that. Not even if. I mean, yeah. So now he's saying if like there was blackmail. Now she's saying not even if there was if. So implying that there was, but then you were like, I'm not going to say that because it's a legal term. Mm. Not even in. What do you think about uh, Nikita Dragon? So now they're bringing up Nikita Dragon themselves. Hmm. No problem with her. Although she was another one that Jeffrey told me a lot about. So Jeffrey told Blair a lot about Nikita Dragon. Oof. Really? Oh, what did he say about Nikita? Say about her? <laughs> can't say. Can't say. <laughs> really? Was it like good things or bad things? Bad, obviously. Okay. Gray area. Okay. Gray okay. Area. okay. I mean, was Jeffrey just seems to shit talk everyone at this rate. So I don't really know where those to go. I just kind of wanted to try to. I saw your video. You guys are trying to like screw it up. We need the team. We need all the team. But all of this, all of this, I really, all of this, I've been very open about it. Okay, I don't care. Well, like, so she's saying that she'll still talk about it because she's open about it. I, I follow you. I have you too, of course. And and, and I, I saw the video. Uh, almost two million people have looked at the video. So I was like, well, okay. So a lot of people are kind of like wondering about this and. So I figured, heck, I'll track you down and try to get more information, you yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, I guess just the information is, I, I don't personally feel like that person's a good person at all. So she doesn't think he's a good person? Girl, we're on the same page. Okay. Um, I think he's a scary person. Okay. Scary right. person? And, um, I don't know, I think he wants it all to go away. We'll see if it does. So she thinks Jeffrey wants all this to go away. We'll see if it does. Hmm. Do y'all think it will go away? He's getting like an overwhelming amount of hate. He's never gotten this amount of hate before and it like lasts. Only time to tell. It's okay, true. Well, that's what's up. Hey, right, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Have a good night. Thank you guys. Oh, okay, so that is it. Now, so much to dissect, okay? First of all, what is your opinion of that? She literally said so much within that. Her and Shane not friends anymore. She was never friends with Jeffrey. She thinks Jeffrey's a bad person. She thinks Jeffrey just wants all this to go away. Jeffrey told her shit about Nikita Dragon. The paparazzi guy says that he knows that other people want to come out against Jeffrey Star. Blair says that the voice memo was real and talks about that. Like, there was so much here. Like, these people really say a lot to these paparazzi, right? Again, the Hollywood Fixes video will be linked in the description below, don't worry. But please, what is your opinion on this? Because it's like... Ugh. Like Blair said, gray area for a lot of this stuff. I just can't believe, though, that her and Shane aren't friends anymore. I mean, it kind of makes sense after her doing that video, but it's kind of like, how did Shane react behind the scenes to her video for her to make this assumption? I like, ugh.
Uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Uh, it's like, uh, currently how I feel is like when you touch wet food while you're doing the dishes and it's kind of like, uh, that's how I feel. Goodbye.